Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, got some pretty cool records for really cheap and just wanted to show them off as always. Um, before I start though, I am really close to a thousand subs, so I don't really normally ask, but like I'm like five subs away, so it's just something that's I'm so thankful for and I think is amazing. And uh, for a thousand subs, I think I'm going to do a Q and A. So leave some questions for me in the comments if you want to. But uh, yeah, basically this haul is great. I just went to a store. Everything was two dollars and fifty cents, except for a couple records, which I'll, I'll show. But yeah. Um, Pretty, pretty crazy finds in these bins. Uh, great stuff. So, we'll just start off. Got two jazz records here. Uh, this was definitely the cooler one of the two, but one I just picked up as a blind buy. This is Know What I Mean by Cannonball Adderley with Bill Evans. Um, saw those names, saw it was on Riverside, so bought it, obviously. Um... Not a horrible copy, not a great copy. Um, sure, it sounds fine. Uh, original stereo on that Riverside label. And then, also sitting in those bins, Miles Davis, Porgy and Bess. Uh, George Gershwin's Porgy and Bess, under the direction of Jill Evans, or Gil, or Jill. Um, this is an original 6i mono. Um, again, not in the greatest shape. The cover's like that, but for 250 you know, I'll pick it up all day. So the rest of these are rock for the most part. So we'll start out with the common one, but Vanilla Fudge, self-titled. And the reason I bought this is I'm actually going to go see them soon. So maybe they can get this copy signed. This is an original, so I have a, I have a repressing. Um, not a bad copy, again. Not at all. And, man, this is a killer record. I know I don't... I don't know. I don't really get to talk about, you know, these more common records too often because I already own them and I don't show them in my, like, recent finds, but... You Keep Me Hanging On is amazing. Take Me For A Little While might be my favorite track on here. Uh, do a great cover of Ticket To Ride. Th this album is entirely covers. But um, they do a really great, unique takes on all the songs. And uh, definitely a, a really cool album. And I'm really excited to see them live. This next one is one I've been on the lookout for for a while. And this is probably one that is in the best condition out of most of these. Johnny Winter, the, pro the progressive blues experiment. Um, yeah, yesterday's trips said this is some hard-hitting blues rock. So I'll take his word for it. Uh, pretty nice copy. It's not bad at all. Um, this is one of the more expensive Johnny Winter. And when I say expensive, I mean it's ten dollars instead of five dollars. Um, this is his first one, and I think it was released as like a sort of private press deal before he was signed to this Imperial label. It's one I've been on the lookout for, and I love that hard-hitting blues rock stuff. So I'm glad to pick that up. These next two are pretty cool. So this one was actually not in the two dollar fifty cent section, but it's one I've that's been on my want list and. Been looking out for a copy. Uh, Completely Well by B.B. King. Um, fantastic guitar player. As you all know, you know, extremely influential. Just an amazing musician. And uh, it's a clean copy on Blues Way. Uh, I think this came out in 1969. And uh, from all I've heard, this is a great album. And I'm, I'm very excited to put this one on the turntable too. One of the really exciting uh, ones I got from this 
$2.50 haul. Uh, Lucille by B.B. King. Uh, yeah, this is my best friend's favorite B.B. King album. And uh, this is not a bad copy either. Not at all. And it's the original 1968 pressing on that blue Bluesway label. This is one of the better ones from that stack. I pulled this out and I'm very excited. Um, Lucille is the name of his guitar, which is this guitar. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, uh, I was so excited to pull that out and I'm very excited to put that on. This next one I'll show was also not $2.50, but one that I've been looking for for quite a while and one that I was very excited to pull out. Um, Jimmy Cliff, The Harder They Come, uh, just fantastic, just amazing. I was at a yard sale once, and I saw this album, and someone bought it right before I could get to it. I was very disappointed, but this is a super clean copy. Uh, I believe it's a later reissue, um, like late 70s, but still really clean copy. I'm just really excited to own this on vinyl. Killer stuff, you know, killer reggae. I love reggae, and I need more of it. And I always buy all these reggae albums when I see them, but this one is absolutely essential in reggae. And uh, one that I've been looking for and was very excited to buy. This is one of the better ones from the uh, $2.50 bins. Uh, saw it and I couldn't really believe it, to be honest. Um, this is Rolling Stones, Some Girls. And it's the cover that has all their faces in. Now, I have a reissue, or I have the repress, where they censored all the faces that they couldn't put. But um, this is a really nice copy. The disc is nice. The cover is nice. It's got the sleeve. Like, I, I just... I don't know why this was in the $2.50 bins, but... Yeah, got really lucky with this, and I am a big fan of this album. I love the Rolling Stones. Miss You is a great song. When the Whip Comes Down is a great song, too. Um, Some Girls, of course. Like, I just, I really like this album. Uh, they're a bit more disco-y, as I'm sure all of you know. Still, a really killer album, and a really killer deal for one of these original, uh, uncensored face type deal you know i was waiting to find one for cheap and this is just a perfect copy for a great deal this next one again something that is just pretty unheard of to get for that price especially nowadays this is over under sideways down by the yardbirds amazing album uh i have a japanese press of this um of, uh, you know, Roger the Engineer. The U.S. press is Miss a few tracks, which kind of sucks, and it's kind of the reason I don't keep one around, because I might as well just play the the one that has all the tracks on it, you know. But um, this is a really nice copy of this. These don't come clean very often, and this one is really solid. Really solid. Like, I, I don't really... I, again... Not really sure why you put this in the two, 250 bins. I might be holding onto this copy. I have to think about it. Um, I have, I've had these before, and I've played them. And um, the copy that I have currently at home, when I play it, the, uh, the outer tracks sound pretty good, but the inner ones don't. And I don't know if that was just that copy or if it's just the pressing, but yeah. Super stoked. I mean, this is the original stereo, but um, fantastic album. I Can't Make Your Way, Farewell, of course, Over Under Sideways Down. Turn Into Earth is my favorite track on here. Um, great sort of early psychedelia stuff on here with a lot of blues influence, of course. And uh, this is the only Yardbirds album that only features Jeff Beck. So, yeah. 
really excited to pick that up. Super cool stuff. This next one I got really excited about too. Um, I have a uh, 79 or something reissue of this, which sounds horrible and doesn't doesn't do this album justice, but I saw this and like again, 250, you just gotta pick it up if you see it for that. This is the doors, self-titled. And amazing amazing album i just love it so much and uh yeah in the two dollar fifty cent bins um this is a 1968 repress i believe um it's got that electra inner and it's on the the golden electra label um now is this the best copy not at all um, I'm going to have to do a comparison with the copy I have and see if this one's worth keeping over that one, but uh, still super, super excited to pick up on that. I mean, like if you want to talk about the essentials of psychedelic rock, this is absolutely there. I've been really into Soul Kitchen and 20th Century Fox lately, but The Crystal Ship, just an amazing track. and light my fire of course and uh ending with the end as we all know that crazy crazy song but yeah i'm a huge fan of the doors and they're probably in like my top 10 10 bands i wish i could have seen live um but yeah i was just super excited to pick up on that and it keeps getting better because this is an original U.S. stereo copy of Strange Days. Um, in the same bins. Not a horrible copy either. I mean, not great. But not bad at all. Um, and it's got the original uh, printed inner with all the um, lyrics and all that. Which I didn't know these even existed. So, yeah. Yeah. It's definitely a no-brainer purchase on this one for me. My copy of Strange Days I bought very early on in my record collecting adventures. And um, I bought a copy that had a pretty serious edge warp and I've just never replaced it. Um, so this is probably going to replace it. Uh, 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 when I upgraded my turntable, that copy became unplayable. But... So this one will probably be sticking around. If you used to ask me what my favorite Doors album was, it was this one, and I'm just not sure now. Uh, it's between this one and L.A. Woman and the first one and Morrison Hotel. So basically all their albums. So it's got People Are Strange, Moonlight Drive, fantastic, and it ends with the When the Music's Over, which I think is my favorite Doors song, honestly. Um... I prefer that to the end. That's just my opinion. But, um, yeah. A fantastic album. Never gonna pass that up for 250 Their third one. Waiting for the Sun. This one is not in great shape at all. Um, yeah. I picked this up because I have... I've been working towards like having a booth at this record show and I could just throw this in the cheap bin or like a really cheap price. Um, it's not a horrible copy. It's just not a great copy either. Um, but it is an original and I do really love this album. Uh, my favorite track on here is Spanish Caravan. Great, great stuff. Um, yeah, just a fantastic album. To pick up on the first three Doors albums for that price is just amazing. And I'll, I'll take that any day of the week. Oh, this next one was one I was extremely excited about. Um, this was pretty high on my want list of albums, and especially of this artist. And this is my favorite of his so far uh, hot rats by frank zappa um an original u.s pressing on that bizarre label 
Um, not the cleanest copy, but 250. Uh, I never thought I'd be getting it for that cheap. Every time I see this, it's overpriced or in really bad shape, and this was neither of those. So, yeah, super excited. Uh, Peaches and Regalia is my favorite Frank Zappa song so far. I need to put this album on and experience the whole thing. But, um, yeah, I, I stream Peaches and Regalia quite a bit online. It's a great instrumental track, and uh, this is definitely my favorite Zappa. Uh, I think it's the most accessible in a way. But, uh, yeah, these rose up in price, and uh, I just was so excited to get it for the price I did, because that's amazing. This next one I was really excited about when I picked it up. Um, and I thought this was like 100% the best find of the stack. But uh, so I, I just bought it without even looking at the disc. But uh, it's got a pretty bad warp. But I think it's worth it for the cover alone. United States of America, self-titled, 1968. Um this is one of the greatest psych albums to ever come out, period. Um, I love, love, love this album. Um, it's got no electric guitars at all. It's got like electric violins, um, a radio transmitter thing. Like, just, just incredible experimental psychedelic rock. It's a bit out there. But, um, perfect psych. Just amazing. Where is Yesterday is probably my favorite track on here. This is a whole album experience, and it's amazing. And this is a nice cover. Like, very little ring wear. Uh, like, no damage to the spine. So I'll definitely be keeping this cover. It's just, and the disc is clean. It's just warped. Uh, I've got to put it on my turntable, see if I could figure it out. I don't know if you can see that, yeah. It's pretty warped. But, um, I might take it to my local shop who does de-warping of records. But, um, incredible, incredible album. And just to get it in any condition for $2.50 is unheard of. Um, and this is a nice cover, so I'll probably swap the cover out with the one I have at home. Um, but if I can get the disc fixed, then I'll have a really great copy of this album. And um, yeah, just if you've never heard this, a great place to start on Psychedelia. Because it's just out there enough where it's you can acknowledge that it's weird, but it's so good. And this next one, the store owner actually handed me because he saw that I pulled out another one of his records, um, which I'll show last because it was the best find out of these, I think. Um, but I've never seen this. It's a compilation. Uh, I've never seen it, and I don't know any of the songs on it, so I bought it. Jimi Hendrix at his best, Volume 3. It's a UK pressing. Uh, it's got some pretty nasty cover damage. And that's why he put it in, I think. But on a weird label, Saga Pan? I don't know. Uh, the disc is clean. I'm afraid that it's going to sound horrible. Um, which it probably is. But uh, this has got the songs Young Jim, Lift Off, Swift's Wing, Spiked with Heady Dreams, and Giraffe. And I've never heard of any of those songs. So I'll just... Definitely going to give that a listen and decide if I want to keep this or not, or decide if I like it or not, basically. But um, I love that picture of him. It's a great picture, and it's just a pretty cool comp. So I'm glad to pick up on it anyways for, you know, that cheap of a price again. And this one, this was the first record I pulled out. And I woke up early to get to the store because he did a grand reopening. 
Um, I'll just tell you, it was Wax Packs Records in uh, Berwick, Pennsylvania. Uh, incredible store. Love this store so much. And I love um, the owner is so nice. And yeah, he just he reopened his shop uh, after some renovations. He added a whole section where everything is two for five. So that's where I got most of these. Um, highly recommend going there if you can. But um, yeah, this is one of the first records I pulled out. And it was definitely just an amazing purchase. This is the Jimi Hendrix experience. Are you experienced? And uh, it's in the shrink wrap with a price sticker. And I found it. I picked it up. And then I pulled out the disc. And it's the original tricolor. Um, now the disc looks like a G+, which is unfortunate. Um, this is a Pitman press, which these sound fantastic. It doesn't even matter the condition. Um, they sound amazing. The pressing is just so good. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, a perfect cover. The cover is super duper clean. Just the issue is that the disc isn't... I showed this record not that long ago because I got a copy of it and I was really, really excited about it. Um, but if I just held out a little longer, I could have got that $2.50 copy. Um, it's in, the disc is in similar condition, but, uh, you know, it's not a horrible copy at all. It could be way worse. Um, but yeah, that's ridiculous. And I was just so thrilled to pick up on that. And that's all the records I got to keep for myself. Um, but I also picked up on more that I will be possibly putting in that record booth I was talking about. This one I bought and I was gonna keep it, um, but I heard there's some overdubs on it and some weird stuff going on. So I just, so I'm, I'm gonna have to play it and decide. But uh, Bob Marley and the Whalers, Birth of a Legend. Uh, if anyone owns this and has some info on what's going on with all that, please let me know. But um, not a bad copy. Not a great copy. Uh, I was going to buy anything with Bob Marley's name on it. You know, I always do, especially for that price. Uh, super cool to pick up on that. Uh, killer album. <laughs> House of the Holy. I'm a huge fan of Led Zeppelin. Um, and I probably doesn't really come across in my videos, but this is not a bad copy of House of the Holy at all. Actually, it's pretty nice. Um, yeah, super sweet. Uh, one of my favorite albums of all time, Rubber Soul. It's a U.S. pressing. Uh, it's got the mono disc on the inside. It's got the stereo cover. And it's not a bad copy at all. Again, um, I actually might be keeping this. Uh, I'll have to decide. Um, but yeah. Uh, the different track listing, I've heard some people prefer this track listing over the UK one, which I definitely don't because it doesn't have Nowhere Man and that used to be, you know, my favorite Beatles song and still is one of my favorites. But, um, you know, I'll have to listen to the US copy and I'll see. I might end up keeping this. Um, got two copies of this, Led Zeppelin 2. These are not the Robert Ludwig hot mix, unfortunately. But still, not bad copy of Led Zeppelin 2. Um, this is my favorite Led Zeppelin record. Uh, I'm a huge fan of this one. Uh, this is one I don't really see around too often, so I buy it anytime I see it, especially when it's at that price. Uh, Yellow Submarine, I don't see this one too often, so I always pick it up, and uh, this is not a bad copy at all, and great, great album, I love the Beatles, uh, it's got the tracks like All Together Now, Hey Bulldog is one of my favorite Beatles songs, It's All Too Much is great, uh, only a Northern song is on here too, and then of course it's got Yellow Submarine and All You Need Is Love, but um, yeah, 
Got two copies of this one, too. Led Zeppelin 3. Glad to pick those up. Uh, another killer one. Rolling Stones, Let It Bleed. Fantastic album. Love it, love it, love it so much. Not a bad copy at all, either. The other Led Zeppelin, too. It's got some tape, but not bad. And then this one, I thought I was getting a really, really good deal. Um, this is introducing the Beatles, uh, except it's not because it's got Meet the Beatles on the disc on the inside. But this is the cleanest copy of Meet the Beatles I've ever seen. So I don't, not entirely sure what I'm going to do about that, but um, pretty cool. Someone did some heavy vandalism on the cover, but... Yeah, so that's all of my $2.50 cheap purchases from Wax Packs. Uh, definitely go to that store if you're ever in the area. Um, this is just incredible. I can't believe it. Uh, Jimi Hendrix is the greatest guitar player ever. So, and he's one of my favorites of all time. But uh, thank you all so much for watching. And so much for the support that I've gotten. Uh, I can't believe I'm almost at a thousand subs. And just thank, just thank you guys so much. Uh, send me questions and I will answer them. Uh, ask about my records or anything you want to see in my collection. Just, you know, just ask about it. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. Peace.